go to a referee let it go too far a, a referee stopped it too soon how do you know when it's that point when it's now is the time to call the fight man it's, it's really difficult to say because every, every it's not every ref is different but every fighter is different so if you're, let's go old school for a second. If I got Bob Sapp Nogueira, and it's the first round, right? Right. Under today's rules, you got to be like stopping that fight. Like you, you really got to, you really got to get in there and say like Bob is just destroying. Like he's, he's gonna kill this guy. We got to get in there and stop this fight. Under the old rules, that fight goes all the way through and the Nogueira catches him in the second round. Now of course there's tied rules, so ten minute first round, five minute second round. But you guys get the point. But the rules have changed and, and have developed. To where now you have to like kind of think about it. But also, too, as a referee, I have to think about the fighters that are in there. Has this kid been knocked out three times in the last three fights? Well, now if he gets cut, I got to stop the fight. Even before he thinks he's out, I got to get in there, right? Or well, the guy that's like very worthy, like a Justin Gaethje, who's very, very determined, very worthy. Matt Soloway, a very worthy opponent, you know, can take a lot of hits. Let this fight keep going because you know these guys can do it. But there's also a limit. You got to find that limit. You don't want them getting any brain damage or shooting in the rear. What becomes the problem is, in my mind, I'd rather be early than be late. Sure. You know, so yell at me for being early. I don't mind that at all. What I, what I am going to be upset about and, 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 and like kill myself when I get home and be like, this is a real problem for me and get really into a, a real self absorbed state is if I stop too late. Because that could end it, that could shorten a guy's career, shorten a girl's career. No, definitely. So uh, I'm assuming that you would know 90, 95 percent of every fighter that, you know, in the UFC level that, that you know, if you're going to referee it. But if you don't know the person, so do you go back and do research, watch some fights? or oh, yeah. How do you... yeah, yeah. It's just like, so it's funny. It's just like script reading. So if I'm getting ready for a role, you know, I'm, I'm out here in, in Hawaii right now working on a lot of action. You know, it's Stitch. And he's. Even though it doesn't involve me, I still got to know what the script reads. I still got to know what's going on, right? The same thing with these fights. I have to know, is this guy an Ambo guy or is he, a, is he a striker? Is he a wrestler that doesn't wrestle or is he a wrestler that wrestles the entire time? But I need to know these things before I get into the fight because then it judges my position. It judges how close I am to the fight. If you notice, if they're big swingers, like the top of fight this weekend, right? I gave them a lot of space because these guys are big swimming. They're not going to try to wrestle. They're not going to try to go out on the ground. They're going to try to kill each other on their feet. That's what they're trying to do. So I have to give them space to get the kicks and the punches in without catching me, without me getting hit. So I have to give them a lot of space. So if they're grapplers, then I'm a lot closer. You can see that a lot of referees, depending on what's happening, they'll give space or not 